We start with a developing story at a local correctional facility. Police are responding to an incident at SCI Dallas. An eyewitness news reporter Andy Mahalchik joins us live from outside the prison. Andy. <laughs> Well, good afternoon, Kelly. We have just received information moments ago from the spokesperson here at SCI Dallas. We now know it was an assault. An inmate assaulted another inmate inside the prison here. Now, this all began just after 10 o'clock this morning. Let me show you some video taken here at the SCI Dallas located in Jackson Township, Luzerne County. The, the initial call came over as an inmate, male inmate, uh, being stabbed repeatedly. Again, that was unconfirmed. That was what first responders had called. Uh, they received a call at Luzerne County 9 one. Well, we, as we were here, we saw the ambulance coming out, followed by a state police cruiser and a prison van. A short time later, we saw several marked and unmarked state police cruisers, as well as the state police forensics crime lab going into the prison. Now, again, it came over as a reported stabbing, but just a few moments ago, Kyle Fagan, the public information officer here at Dallas SCI uh, in Dallas and Jackson Township, said that officers that responded to an inmate on inmate assault this morning. The inmate was assaulted, was taken to a local hospital for treatment. There were no other inmates or staff involved in the assault and nobody else was injured. They're right now investigating this incident. Now, ironically, this was unfolding as State Representative Aaron Coffer and an official from the union that represents corrections officers here at Dallas were coming to the prison to meet with prison officials about an attack on a female prison counselor back on September 10th. That counselor remains hospitalized with severe injuries. She was attacked allegedly by an inmate here inside the prison. Representative Coffer is calling for stricter guidelines and harsher penalties for inmates who attack corrections officers and or staff. And he's also calling for more transparency for information coming from incidents like this from not only Dallas SCI, but other state prisons across the Commonwealth. Well, more on this story and of course Coffer's meeting, which is still taking place right now on the attack on the counselor Counselor on later editions of Eyewitness News and, of course, on PAHomepage.com. Reporting live in Jackson Township, Andy Bohalschik, Eyewitness News. Andy, thanks for the latest on that developing story.